There were few formalities at President Barack Obama's meeting with ASEAN leaders in Sunnylands. The laid-back atmosphere of the U.S. President's second home for diplomacy was meant to stimulate candid conversation, which in the end brought about a joint declaration on a range of topics, from working together on trade to shared principles on maritime security. Freedom of navigation must be upheld and lawful commerce should not be impeded. I reiterated that the United States will continue to fly, sail, and operate wherever international law allows. And we will support the right of all countries to do the same. Previously, ASEAN had difficulty agreeing on any statements to do with maritime security. Four of the ASEAN countries are embroiled in territorial disputes with China over portions of the South China Sea a fact that was highlighted on Wednesday by reports that the regional superpower had stationed surface-to-air missiles on disputed Woody Island in the Paracels group. China wields a huge influence over the region both economically and militarily, so a few of the ASEAN states have not wanted to go against their powerful neighbor. ASEAN as a regional bloc is nearly 50 years old, but the loose grouping of 10 very different both culturally and socially countries has been predominantly seen as toothless. The U.S. now giving ASEAN this much attention also sends a clear message to the member states that they must work together more effectively to face shared challenges. There are more than 600 million people living in ASEAN, and despite their differences, they've just been integrated into a single economic community. The potential of the region's sway as a bloc is central to the United States' so-called rebalance to Asia-Pacific. Engaging ASEAN collectively, ASEAN integration, and ASEAN's role in the Asia-Pacific is all very much in the United States' interest. Bringing ASEAN leaders to Sunnylands has been seen by many as the United States reasserting a leadership role over a region where China's dominance is increasing. President Obama hopes getting the leaders to agree on this so-called Sunnyland Declaration is already a step in the right direction. Marga Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Rancho Mirage, California.